good, no like gay. It's your boy. It's your homie. It's your... Finish that, man. Finish that, man. Hey. All right, y'all. Look, man. I got one more vid after this between KSI and Jake Paul. But look. Jake Paul told me this right here was coming out on Logan's um, podcast, Impulsive. So we finna check this out. Everybody was already sending me this. Everybody was tweeting at me on Twitter like, Shaq, you gotta react to it. They even sent me timestamps. They said start at the 8.30 mark. So I gotta go back a little bit. I gotta go back a little bit. But look, they said start at the 18.30 mark. And goddamn, I don't know how far I gotta go. But hey, I just want to hear him talk about uh, uh, him, writing, him writing this song. Because y'all know I made the vid exposing him. I wasn't really trying to expose him. I was just putting out the, the receipts that people were sending me. But look, he came back on Instagram that same day and said, hey, look, I wrote it. So everybody believed him. Like, bro, how old are y'all, bro? How, I, I want to know, how old are y'all Jake Paul fans? But look. We finna check this out. Like, man, hey, I give everybody a fair chance. Like, I, I do not hate Jake Paul. Let's let's get that. Let's get that out there. I do not hate Jake Paul. I'm just here for the music, man. I'm just here for the music. So we finna check this out, see what he see what he gotta say. Cause he told me it was coming out. And he said he was gonna talk about it, writing a song right here. So that's what we're here for. Let's get it. You and you and him actually released your music videos on the same day. Which yes. Was, which was interesting. Yeah, I didn't know he was re releasing uh, a song and then someone on my team who, my like, keeps up with all the internet you shit. You listen to it? Uh, you his song? Video? Yeah, I watched it. He said somebody on his team keep up with the internet stuff. Because he sent me and Screw the same message. He just changed like a couple words. I ain't, ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say nothing. Yes. Which was interesting. Yeah, I didn't know he was re releasing uh, a song and then someone on my team who like keeps up with all the internet you shit. You listen to it? Uh, you watch his song? Video? Yeah, I watched it. What do you think? Uh, his verse is awful. The The rest of the song is cool. Fuck. Oh, dude, that's scene. tough. Yeah, I, I, he sucks I, at I think, music. Like, I, I, think he, I think he may have taken a step back with this one. Um, Isn't this yeah. one more like that? Dang, he just straight out. Bro, he straight came straight at came. He really don't like KSI, huh? See, at first I thought it was just some internet stuff, but I think Jake really don't like KSI. Man. I think he may have taken a step back with this one. Um, Isn't this yeah. one more like da like dance? It's a or? it's a really pop uh is it, it he Yeah, it's a it's a summer banger, man. It's a summer banger. He collabed with the DJ, yeah, yeah, like a marsh. It's like a marshmallow song with a singing like, and it's it's sick. It's, it's a good it's song. Re, it's really it's really good. Minus KSI's verse. I, I hate to say it, yeah, he comes on and um, you just want to turn it off. Well, which is which. Shut sucks, up, Jake. Because like I want him to do well. I want to listen to a KSI song and 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 be like this. This will go on the radio because mm -hmm. listening to the song, I was like, holy shit, this has this is everything. Like it's 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 a beat. It's fast. It's melodic. It's catchy. And then his verse came on, and there's something about it that is there's like a disconnect. I don't think he's he's hit the mark yet. There's um, no there's no there's no lyricism. Uh, hey, <laughs> I, you could tell right here, you could tell right here, who's been honest and who's who's been a hater, man. Logan, he's he's being completely honest. He's saying, bro, the song is I, the song is fire. Just when KSI part come on, it's something don't feel right. No, I I I I can salute that opinion right there. But then Jake come in here, it's no lyricism, no nothing, it's trash. Like come on, man, come on, man. That's tough, man. There's um, no, there's no, there's no lyricism, uh, and there's. It's it's I know exactly what it is because I went through this phase and as much as people want to hate um, my shit or whatever uh, I have put in the time effort energy and hard fucking work down in my basement in the studio to actually learn the craft and learn how to 
become Gotta get my YouTube good at music. Here, and KSI hasn't done that. What he's doing is he's going into the room, into the studio, with a bunch of other writers yeah. and a bunch of other people who are telling them what to say and telling them that it's fire and it's good and this and that. And he's they're coming up with ideas and he's doing it and they're putting that song out. He's he doesn't have I, I bet you KSI doesn't have any music like in the stash. I mean, because he's, he's, saw, he's, he's not be, some, he's not being selective in what he puts out. Yeah, he saw. I Jay Jay kind of got a point right there. Jay got a point right there, man. Like one part that I do believe, I believe KSI don't have music in the stash. As far as the writing part, I don't feel like KSI got writers, bro. Like you can tell. In KSI, in his verses, or his songs by itself, you can tell he wrote them. And he looked so, re- he looked so relaxed. The lyrics fit him. Like, you can tell he wrote them. But, as far as the not having music in the stash, I believe that. I don't feel like KSI got a bunch of music just there, just sitting there that he could drop. I feel like he make it as he go. I mean, because he's, saw, not, he's, he's, not be, some, he's not being selective in what he puts out. Yeah, he saw some, you know, has obviously seen pretty serious commercial success with, with his music. Oh, yeah, at least, from, at least, easy, at least from a, listen, at least from a YouTube standpoint. Right? You and so, like, like, well, well, yeah. for example, I mean, you, none of us on this show have charted before, so we can't, you know, I, uh, on that's the, not true. You have charted you, on, and he has too, for the White no, Noise song, both number one, whatever. <laughs> I think, I think. Just, Yo, Logan looking at this man like, are, are you are you kidding me, bro? You like, bro, you on on here? You gonna do that on here? You gonna say I haven't charted on my own pot? That's tough. That's how Logan. That's how Logan looking at this Pat, man. You have charted on, you, and he has too. For the white noise, no, <laughs> number one. Whatever. I think I think just like I think just like boxing, it's another thing that takes time, patience, for sure, practice, for sure, for effort. Sure. So like, I'm yeah. not I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit and count them out, you know. I think just like anything else, like hold on, no one's, been, no one's no, counting no, them no, out. No, 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 no. This specific song. No, I know, but I'm oh. saying like he spent. He's only spent how much time making music now? I think it's. I think it's too early. I, we've definitely. You guys have definitely had your pokes at him and his musical capabilities. I'm not it's, even prepared to make those pokes yet because I'd like to wait to see how he progresses as a. Yeah, who is this guy right here? Who is this guy? Somebody let me know this dude's name right here. This dude, he damn near the only one in the room. Wait. Common sense. You can tell Logan trying to stay neutral, but he leaning towards his brother's side a little bit. But this dude right here, he get it, man. He he get it. He get that KSI haven't been making music that long. He even said the 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 uh the Paul brothers, they they take their little styles at KSI with with his music. Like, bro, he's not gonna be perfect. Just like Jake. Jake, you had to figure it out. As you say, you had to figure it out, man. Like, KSI I got to do the same. That's just how I feel. Progresses as a... Yeah, it's you got, say you have, no, you have no comment on this song? I don't feel, I don't feel as uh, have, serious have about him. It's not his best why, song. Like, I, I've listened, I listen to it sometimes. The one with SZA I liked. Like, there's was, a line, or not there's SZA, a line. with... Uh, what was the dude he had that did the chorus on the song? That last song he put out? I don't know. All right, whatever. There's Go a on. line, the second line in, in his song that he put out. It says something like, I've been to war. I got a purple heart. I said, I said to myself, you got a purple heart? You talking about the award given to wounded or killed soldiers in the United States yeah. military? Yeah. Mm. It, yeah, I heard that bar too. I just let it ride though. I heard it, but I ain't, I ain't really make no comments on it. And, and just, where's the authenticity? That, that doesn't even make any fucking sense. So there's also like this big discussion. I, and I watched all the reaction videos. I, I watched uh, here we go. that had to do with both songs. And people... People, first of all, the re- I've never seen a reaction to any of my music because I haven't like that in, in such a positive way because I haven't put anything out in like a year and I've literally just been working, 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 right, working. Right, right. And so when I put it out, people were like, what the fuck? Like everyone was like, this is Jake Paul. I, I hate Jake Paul, but I like this. I, I can't. Bro, you got that reaction because you was trash. You was trash at first, bro. Everybody was shocked. So you gonna get that reaction from everybody, bro. But. To be fair, bro, you had a lot of positive feedback on that song. Even though a lot of people was like, is this Jake? Is this Jake? That's why, bro. Because your other music was terrible. So when you came out with this banger, we like, we got to take a step back. That's why you got them reactions, bro. Like, 
I know it's it's a lot of people on the internet that fake their reactions, but when you when you come across the real ones, bro, you gonna get a real reaction. Then was our real reactions. We was like, bro, he did he wrote that? Did he? It was so the song was so good. We was like, did you write it? That's why I asked you in the DLs, like, bro, did you write it? I was just being real, bro. Everything that had to do with both songs and people. People, first of all, the re I've never seen a reaction to any of my music because I haven't like that in, in such a positive way because I haven't put anything out in like a year and I've literally just been working, 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 right, working. Right, right. And so when I put it out, people were like, what the fuck? Like everyone was like, this is Jake Paul. I, I hate Jake Paul, but I like this. I, I can't believe this is Jake, da, 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 da. And all the reaction channels instantly went to uh, be like, oh, he has a ghostwriter. He has a <laughs> ghostwriter. And so there's still this like stigma around like, people just couldn't accept that I made a good song. So they're like, oh, he's working with writers. He's working with writers. But people do that to Drake too, I feel like a lot. But he, he but Jake, you you gotta understand, uh switching gears for a second just to focus on you. It is hard to break out of the YouTuber I know. stigma. Yeah. Like it was you remember how hard it was to not be oh, the, yeah, the kids from Vine? That's true right there. That's true. That's true. Like like coming up off YouTube and then trying to become a uh a mainstream rapper or a more serious ticking rapper, it, it's very hard, bro. That that YouTube, that YouTube stuff gonna stick with you for a long time before you actually break out of it. But at the end of the day, I still think you're not gonna break out of it. Like people are always gonna put that YouTube label on you if you come up off of YouTube. Like that's just how it is. I I don't believe in it, but that's just how it is. Yeah, true. And then finally we became YouTubers and now we're like, ah, oh, like I kind of want to be known as like a professional boxer and then you're going for a rapper. Like it, it Yeah, rapper it, very hard. It's going to take a lot of time to fully shift people's mindsets. A right. lot feel, of time and a lot of work. Do you feel any sort of pressure on already having a built-in audience and really trying to test things out on a big stage with your music? I mean, you just you have a major audience. I did at first, but now I just know my shit's good. And mm -hmm. reality, like the uh, the audience's reality is catching up to where I'm at from a talent standpoint with my music. They're like, oh, this is crazy. Like, I've never seen such a positive reaction. So I thank people and I really appreciate it. But there- He did, he came He came in a lot of people inboxes and said, thank you. Like, I respect that. I, respect I have so many, I have so many more songs that are, the one, the one song is even better than that one. There's another one that's even better than that one. And okay. I've just been waiting to put them out and, I, and there's more, there's more to come. And I think people just Hey, yeah, hey, he said he got two more bangers that's better than Fresh Out of London. Oh, I can't wait for this here. He said they better than Fresh Out of London, no? Alright, we I'ma hold you to that, Jay. Just think like that I'm not taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. Like like and that it's just something where I'm paying people to make my music. Like, no, it's me. Joey, down, we go into the studio and then we, we just create a vibe and make make the songs. And that's and that's why I'm pissed off. Like that's why I'm low key getting this off of my chest because everyone on KSI's reaction was like, "Oh, whatever. This is this is okay. Da da da. This is okay." No one says anything about writers, but when you go to his song credits, like on all of his songs, there's literally a hundred writers. Like, did you down, write like, this one yourself? This song yourself? Yeah, yeah me, me and me and one, one friend. How is that possible? Vibing, How is that vibing possible? in the studio. Vib so he say KSI got a bunch of writers listed. I ain't even gonna talk about that. You as an artist, you should know how credits work. But look, he said him and another guy wrote the song. He ain't just say him. I'll peep that. Me, me and me and one, one friend. How is that possible? Vibing, How is that vibing possible? in the studio. Vibing in the studio. We were going bar for bar. We go in the we go in the studio and play the song over and over again. And we're just bar like turning bar? up. Like and he says a line. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, see eight bad bitches like the brand new vet. I'm like, oh, he's like, oh, that's fucking hard. <laughs> and they're like, we, we just go bar for bar. Hey, that's a bar right there. See eight bitches like the brand new vet. That's a bar. That's a bar, man. I wanted that new C8, man. They don't sell them no more, so I had to get a C7 Grand Sport. But look, 
I, I get the I get the process he using. Like, oh, uh, he said he go in there, he create a vibe with his homeboy, and they go bar for a bar. So that means you coming up with a bar, then your friend coming up with a bar, but you still using your friend bars. So who is that for, like? What's that friend name listed in the credits? I just saw Jake Paul. Are back and forth, and and that's how I work. It's just like that's it. And so people are like, oh, he didn't write this. Like, suck my nuts. And then you go to <laughs> his his song credits, and it's and it's like written by Brian Trice, Dominique Jones, Sean Gambley, William Leonard Roberts the second. Like, bro, how did no million... catch that a Purple Heart isn't given to British folks who aren't in any sort of military? How how is it? How many writers are there? Logan, Logan, Logan on this one, it's on that, Ella boy. Henderson, Johnny Latimer, Trey Jean Marie, I'm, I'm Nathan I'm Daw. I'm done. I'm done. I'm like, finally bro, got the credit. Go, 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 to, go to my song credits and look at and and look at what it says when it and you click on listen, 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 where it got, says we got, writer. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. We, we, Stream fresh out of London. On that <laughs> go save it on your Spotify. When Mike's leaning back, plug. I know it's bad. I know no, it's I'm listening. But you, this song was probably your. Would you say this was your best? Att like attempt at music yet your first your best song so far no i have a better one i've been but that hey. has been put out so far oh that's though. been put out yeah i feel like it got a better response than a lot of your other music the the best response yeah. I, i've gotten hands yeah. down i even saw ksi fans with like profile pictures of ksi being like damn like i respect jake for this well, like bro at the end of the day i would like to think that where we are at a spot where we can have a civil discourse about a song make some comments about it right. look at it semi-objectively even our fans and then make come to a conclusion of their own yeah. right. like, I, I think right. that i think both his fans and our fans your fans my fans whatever like aged up to a point where and we mentioned this a lot on this show if you see something that's good even if it's from somebody you don't like you can say hey that's a, that's a, that's a good piece of work right yeah. there yeah. and 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 that's exactly what a lot of reactors did though like they just gave their opinion they were like I saw some people saying like, "Hey, Jake ain't the best person, but the song is fire." Me personally, I don't follow these guys, so I don't know what type of person he is. I got a sense of what type of person he is now, but in that reaction, I knew nothing about Jake. Like, I don't know nothing. Of, I don't watch these dudes. I don't watch other YouTubers. Like, if I'm on YouTube, I'm watching like, uh, how to get my videos better or something like that. But hey. Like, I, like Logan said, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Like you can't get mad at certain opinions and don't get mad at the next man's opinion. You got to take it all. Like That's just part of being the artist. But, hey, Jake said, he he told us how he wrote this song. He went in the studio, created a vibe with his homie. They went bar for bar, and they made it like that. Like, I have no problem with that. But, hey, if, if that man... Went ball for ball with you, and you use some of his balls. You got to put his name in the credits. You can't just have what you showed on Instagram. You just had Jake, Jake Paul by yourself. You just said you and another friend wrote it. So hey, that's how I feel about that man. Like like I said, I have nothing against Jake Paul. Keep getting better, my guy. Keep getting better. I I, I want to know what y'all think, bro. I want to know what y'all think about this. Like, I know y'all gonna go crazy because he called KSI trash multiple times. <laughs> so I know y'all ain't gonna like that, man. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, this conversation right here, man. I'm gone.